I'd be on the way to the viewing and it'd just be a message, room's taken. By the time I'd sent it, it'd be like, oh yeah, no, someone put the money down this morning, it's gone. Um, and that just seemed to happen. So in the end, after about two weeks, I think, I was like, just any, anything that was available within my price range, I'd just send an email. So it was quite stressful. I'll book a train for Friday night. I'll be there a whole weekend, just tell me a time and never hear anything from them again. That <laughs> would just happen all the time. I started off with um, a budget of about £600, but yeah, that was really unrealistic. I then started looking about 700 and then I thought if I find something that's really much better, I would go up to 750 But actually, in the end, I went for something that didn't have the bills included because, yeah, that's just what it came to in the end. I just had to compromise. My wages still don't feel enough to comfortably live and I think I have a decent job and, and everything. So this is my room. If it stays the same as it is, this will definitely be a very long-term thing in terms of like house sharing.